Justin Gerlach. I'm Director of Studies for Biological Natural Sciences at Peterhouse. I teach quite a lot of different biology courses and I do research on various dif different aspects of evolution and ecology. So to start us off with, can you chat about the structure of the Biological Natural Sciences course and how it fits within natural sciences generally at Cambridge? Well, natural sciences is a varied course as a whole and we divide it into two main streams, the biological and the natural. In the first year there's a range of choices that students can take and that could span the full range from physics through chemistry through to pure biology. And then progressively over the following two years students would then specialise much more down one particular avenue. And so the first thing that students need to think about when applying for biological and natural sciences is their personal statement. What kinds of things do you like to see on a personal statement? Well, a personal statement is really useful in showing a genuine interest in the subject. And a lot of personal statements sound very similar. The um, applicants have done very similar things. But what we're really looking for is genuine interest, not simply ability. And that could be interesting things they've done, places they've been, or things that they've read. And we're very aware that different applicants have got access to very different opportunities. So it's not necessarily that we're looking for someone who's done some fantastic internship or something like that. Someone who's just read some really interesting books and has got something intelligent to say about them could be just as impressive, if not more. So the next thing that students need to think about is the pre-interview admissions assessment, the NSAA. How do we use that and what are students doing preparing for that? The admissions assessment is one of the pieces of information that we use to decide which applicants to look at further. And the aim of it is really to give some idea of their ability, their way of thinking. And it's really designed not to be something that you can mug up for. Some preparation is good, but only in the sense of looking online. There's excellent resources online, sample questions with work answers. Um, so that's, that's about all there is to it. If the candidate has looked through that and has got some feeling for how those questions are asked, then they should be okay. Further preparation isn't needed. And if an applicant has a go at it and finds they can't complete the questions in the time, they shouldn't worry about that either because it is designed to be extremely challenging. So the next thing on the road to progression is the interview itself. Can you chat about how the interviews for biological natural sciences are structured? Well, we do here at Peterhouse, we do two interviews, uh, both with a pair of interviewers, and they will, they will cover the range of general biological interests. So that, that will be chemistry, cell biology, ecology, evolution. And we will all ask different questions. And we're all looking for the same sort of thing. We're really looking for a way into understanding how the applicant thinks and to what extent we could teach them how well they would fit in. Because what we're really trying to decide is, are they a good fit for us and are we a good fit for them as well? And really the best preparation for interviews is just to relax and for the candidates to be themselves. Leave it up to the interviewers to do the hard work of trying to do the judgment and find the right applicant. And so what are you looking for from candidates in their responses to your questions? We're looking for insights into how they think, how they solve problems. So we'll be presenting them with questions or scenarios that we hope they haven't come across before. And we're not looking for right or wrong answers. There are certainly no right or wrong answers in an interview. What we want the applicant to do is to work through a problem, discuss it with us, show us how they're thinking, and actually if they come to a grinding halt and can't think of any, any solution to a problem, that's absolutely fine because another aspect that we're interested in is how do they take direction? How easy, it is, is, how easy is it to lead them towards an answer? Or how do they cope with getting things wrong? So really the most useful thing that an applicant can do in terms of interviews is simply to relax and let the interviewers do the hard work. 
And finally, why should students apply to Peterhouse for Biological Natural Sciences? Well, although Peterhouse is a very small college, we do have a very active biological community. So there are plenty of things going on, discussion meetings, social events, and really um, having the, the Deer Park and Scholar's Garden uh, as this fantastic green space full of trees, plants, and plenty of wildlife. So we have foxes around at the moment, sometimes deer. Um, it's a great place for biology. Thank you.